it'll work out. <clears throat> and then he says in verse 38, the thing that uh, I think is, is, is the linchpin for this whole chapter, is the linchpin for this book, should be the linchpin for our Christian faith. It says, For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, principalities, powers, things present, or things to come, no height, nor death, nor any creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Are you persuaded that nothing in your life, no bad thing that you know, any person, any demon, any devil can bring against you will separate you from God? Are you persuaded that it, it doesn't matter what they tell you on your job? Are you persuaded that it doesn't matter what your spouse says, are you persuaded? It doesn't matter what your mama says. It doesn't matter what your daddy says, what a brother or a sister. It doesn't matter. Come hell or high water. There's nothing, nothing, nothing that can separate me from God's love. Do you believe that? Because if you believe it, then you should show it. See, that's the interesting thing. When I, when I talked in the beginning about how people act, how people look, if you sit back and you watch a person in their daily life, you can tell what they believe by how they act. People that believe that they are somebody, they hold their heads up high, they square their shoulders, they talk and speak with confidence. People that believe, when you go into your job, you know, you wouldn't go into the job if you didn't believe you worked there. If you didn't believe that there was a desk or a workstation or something with your name on it that, that was set aside specifically for you, you go because you believe. You don't go just because, well, maybe if I walk in there, they'll give me something to do. You go because you already know that this is where I belong. You don't sit in the chair or, 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 or put the shoes on or, or, or turn the key in the addition to the car if you don't believe, if you don't already know, if you're not persuaded that that thing will do what you all have, have, you've thought that it was predestined to do. Nobody, not one of us, will sit in a chair that we do not believe will hold our body weight. If you do, you're a fool. We exercise beliefs like that each and every day. Who goes to the refrigerator and opens the door if they don't believe that there's food in there? Who goes and cuts on a water fountain or flips on a light if they don't believe there's power to light the the, the, the room? Who, who goes and does something without ex believing that a specific outcome is going to happen? So we operate in beliefs each and every day. And if you look at a person, if you, you watch the, a person, you can tell what they believe by what they do. For a Christian, if I believe that God is all, doesn't matter what problem I have, doesn't matter what somebody says to me, doesn't matter because I'm persuaded that my God is bigger than you are. I'm persuaded that my God is bigger than any problem. I'm persuaded that there is nothing that can separate me from him. And as long as I'm, I'm persuaded that there's nothing that can separate me from him, I'm going to hold my head high, I'm going to walk, and I'm going to talk, and I'm going to act, and I'm going to look, and, and I'm going to portray that what I believe. I'm married, I have been married for seven years. I wear my wedding ring. I don't just put my wedding ring on because I think it's something nice, something cute. It's got a few diamonds in it. Yeah, I, I want the bling. I put my wedding ring on because I'm persuaded that my wife loves me and that she's committed herself to me. And that because of her love and her commitment and my love and my commitment, I show this as a token of what we believe, as a token of what we know about one another. The bad part about that is <coughs> there are those of us, excuse me, who on the outside try to portray something we don't believe on the inside. And in that, we, we end up doing a, a terrible job um, of, of you, know, you can fake it, you know, for a little while. You can make people believe that for a little while, but sooner or later what you really believe will come uh, forth on the outside. So if you really believe 
that Jesus is Lord, you won't fall to pieces every time there's a problem. If you really believe that Christ died for you, you won't lose it every time something bad happens. If you really believe that if you die in Christ, that you'll live forever always, you won't be afraid of death. Because you know death is just uh, a transition point for Christians. If you really believe that nothing will separate you from the love of God, then you aren't worried about the next storm. You're not worried about the next problem. Because you know that you, you serve a God that can do anything. So it doesn't, I don't know where you are right now, where you're listening to this uh, from. But ask yourself, what do I believe? Am I persuaded that God is who this Bible says He is? And if I am persuaded that, that He is the God, then there is nothing, nothing, nothing that can separate me from Him. There is nothing that can overcome me because He said in His Word that I am more than a conqueror. And if He can do anything, I, don't, I should not worry about anything because all things are under him. As I bid you good day, good evening or good night, ask yourself, am I persuaded? Do I believe that I'm more than a conqueror? And if I do, I need to act like it. Thank you. This has been a Ravy Mac production. God bless you.